Puzzle games are best played with two minds. Whether against each other or not, it's always refreshing to be actively engaged in a puzzle while having fun with someone else. It's hard not to have great memories of solving puzzles together. Video games are not. But what are some enjoyable co-op puzzle games you might not have played yet? Welcome, Web of Wires. I remember when I was in first grade, I had a little keychain that played Tetris. After school each day, I would play it on the bus, and it slowly developed my love for following block puzzle games. In this video, I want to go over some of my favorite co-op puzzle games. Whether in an escape room style or platforming, there's a wide variety of fun to be had. First on this list is a game I recently found called Fogs. It's not the most difficult puzzle game out there, but it sure isn't forgettable. Most of the fun comes from messing around with whoever you're playing with, just getting distracted and barking at everything. The single dog you play as is just adorable, and the puzzles, while not too hard, are really funny since you're controlling the same person. Also, Extendo Doggo. I love him. I had to put this on the list. Poyo Poyo Tetris 2. While it can be played against each other, it still has a fun co-op mode. I mean, there's nothing to really complain about. You have Poyo Poyo, you have Tetris, and you have Poyo Poyo Tetris. You swap between the two, constantly playing both a color matching combo game and a line clearing game. Also, how do they make this game a story game? They're falling block puzzle games. Anyways, it's great, and you can just play both of them separately if you don't like the other. Battle Block Theater can be played single player and put his best player with a friend. It's more of a platformer than a puzzle game, but the puzzles are more of how to get around the map quickly. It very much is filled with Newgrounds humor, like an entire song dedicated towards buckling your pants. Most of the fun comes from throwing your friends and just screwing everything up. Even while it's telling the story, it just messes around and does whatever. And when you're done with the story, you can build your own levels or get all the collectibles. It really is a special experience I can recommend to everybody who has played Friday Night Funkin', Castle Crashers, or Alien Hominid. One of the coolest games I've played recently is Snipper Clips. It's a little game where you have to cut out your friend and try and use them to solve puzzles. It's weird, but a good 3-4 to four hour game. The entire game works noticeably well on single Joy-Cons as well. With an added 4 player mode and delightful visuals to look at, there's very little to complain about outside of how short the game can be. There's a demo for this game if you want to try it too, but it's Switch exclusive at the moment. If you really want a purely puzzle game, nothing else, then this is probably the best game for you. Valve hasn't released a new game in over a year, that feels weird to say. Portal 2, they made an entirely new game just for the multiplayer. It's based on shooting portals around the map and trying to solve puzzles through these portals. Although the puzzles are a great source of fun, they give you very basic puzzles like if you step on this platform, and unlocks a bridge for your friend. It's simple, but also a trust test. It's just a perfect opportunity to give you and your friend a good laugh. But once you finally solve a puzzle, it is more than rewarding because of how complex they can get. And when you're finally done the multiplayer campaign, you get a great single player to yourself as well, which I can easily recommend to everybody. Also, there's remote play on Steam, so you only need one copy to play together. And for the final title on this list, Untitled Goose Game, there was a multiplayer update not too long ago. It's fun having to play as a goose and just messing with people in the town, but it's more fun when you and your friend get to plan destruction together. The goal of this game is to complete tasks on your list like put a rake in the lake, or take the farmer's keys. The puzzle is how you plan to get the rake into the lake, or how you get the farmer's keys without him catching you. But the sandbox element of just screwing with people's day as a dumb goose makes multiplayer that much more fun. Well, those are some of my favorite, most memorable puzzle games with friends. What makes them great is that no matter how long of a gaming session you have, there's always enough time to play at least one of them. There are loads of games I could have talked about, but these are the few I have the closest attachments to. If there was one that you enjoyed that wasn't on this list, please tell me in the comments. And if you're interested in one of the games here, maybe drop a like, possibly subscribe. Every little action really does a lot to a small channel.